All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So my channel is usually about only my bike and only motorcycles, but I want to make it more about me and my bike so you guys like see my life a little bit and how I do things. So I actually uh, put together this little like edit setup behind me. I do play Xbox, not that much, not like make videos about it or anything, but I do play. But uh, this is what I use to edit and everything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on here and also what I got planned for the bike and how I'm fixing it and what parts I ordered. So let's get right into it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Tiptoe, pockets so fat like a hippo. Uh, I turn your wife to a widow. Yeah. All right, so to start off the video, I'm gonna talk about the keyboard first. I got it off very cheap. It's the first time I bought for the setup. Um, and then I was like, wait, I don't have anywhere to play because when I used to play, I would sit in a chair and play my TV. My TV was high up. My TV was on this and obviously you can't use a keyboard up there. So I was like, wait, I don't have a table or anything. So I went to Target, picked up this table. Uh, all the legs are metal and stuff and the top is wood. So it's really sturdy. And I paid $80 for it, set it up. It only takes like 30, 40 minutes set up. Not even, if you know what you're doing, it should be quick. And then, um, I got this table and then I got this monitor from let go. It's a, uh, I'm not sure like the exact name of it and stuff, but I looked it up before I got it. It seemed really good. I got it for a good deal, so I went to pick it up. And then the laptop, the Lenovo Legion, I had for about a month. It's the Lenovo Legion 5. So it's a really good laptop for editing and stuff. I don't use it to game. It is a gaming laptop, but I just use it to edit. And now that I got the setup, I edit on my actual TV and use this for um, like my secondary screen and stuff, but I edit on the TV. But um, that's really it for the setup. I got some LED lights behind the TV, if you guys can see. Got them under my desk. But um, so I, I game a little bit, but it's mostly for editing. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with the light off and how the LEDs look. And then uh, I'll talk a little bit more. I'll talk a little bit more about my bike. All right, so this is what the setup looks like with all the lights off. I got the LEDs up top. Got them on the bottom. The keyboard lights up, mouse lights up, and all that. Like I said, I'm going to be, hopefully this makes me want to edit more and actually learn how to do more stuff with uh, making thumbnails, editing videos, color grading, all that stuff. So I'm really gonna try to make my videos a lot better, especially with all the stuff that I put the time and money to make. But uh, now I'm gonna turn the lights back on and we're gonna talk about the bike and what I'm planning on doing and what's gonna happen with it. All right, so um, for the bike, I have the FZ07 and when you guys saw, I think two videos ago, I posted it and showed you guys how the subframe was kind of bent up and the back of the bike was kind of cracked up and bent a little bit. So the subframe, I actually ended up taking it off. Well, not subframe, sorry. The sub cage was bent up and I actually took it off. And one of the bolts that went into the frame was cracked off in half inside of the, the hole. And the other one, because there's two holes inside of the frame, the other hole on that side the threads on it were just like all twisted up. So if I put a, a straight bolt into it, the bolt would go in circles because it wasn't straight through. And I don't have the tools to extract the broken bolt and all that stuff and then re-fix the holes. So I brought it to the shop. They did it one day, took the bolt out for me um, and fixed both holes. I'll show you guys a picture of the broken bolt inside of the frame right now. All right, so I got that all fixed up. I ordered my uh, custom seat from Old Mon Metalworks. That's gonna be here in hopefully a week. I also ordered a sub cage and 12 bar. It's all in one, so I don't have to drill into the frame or anything like that. Because if I did have a 12 bar and I would have looped it, it would have been so much less damage. But I ordered that from Full Metal, uh, Full Metal Stunts. Full Metal Stunts, there you go. FMS, Full Metal Stunts. He has an Instagram, hit him up if you want any cages, sub cages, 12 bars, titanium, all that. He's got you. So I ordered the 12 bar combo and I also ordered the front axle sliders. And it came with titanium for the scrape too. So that's that's what's up. And then what else did I get? I got I got a new TST light. I put that on today. Is he still the light isn't like I still have to zip tie it on because the back of the frame is a little bent up. And then so a TST light, cage. What else did I say? TST light, cage and seat. And I also ordered a uh, upper triple tree from SS Moto. He, uh, I got it anodized black with my uh, LI brake work, the YouTube channel engraved on top with the black risers and stuff. He's, uh, he has his 20% uh, off his whole site right now. So I was like, I gotta get it. 
So it was like a good like $60 off of the final price. So I had to get on that right away. And then that's pretty much it for now. Once once the seat comes in, you'll see more videos of me actually riding the bike because I can't really ride with no seat right now. And then I was going to try to put my stock passenger pegs back on and ride with that, but I can't find them. So once everything comes in, you guys are going to see everything coming in, all the new parts. I didn't show you guys the TSC light because you guys seen it the first time. And I destroyed it, so I just put it back on again. But uh, I'm going to show you guys the cage, axle sliders, all that. So, All right, and I almost forgot. The shirt I'm wearing right here is from SIG. If you guys check out their Instagram, um, their Instagram is like underscore SIG, I don't know, but look at on Instagram, you'll find it. And they also have, um, I think Real Bike Life only is their other Instagram. They have two and they sell shirts, masks, sweaters, a bunch of bike life things. So this is the front and I'm gonna show you guys what the back looks like right now. Okay, so this is the back. And this is like a little close up of what the shirt is. So yeah, make sure you guys go check it out. Yeah, it's basically just um, like the no chase law and stuff like that. And because uh, the past month, there's been a couple of, uh, I think it was in Texas or Florida, it was a ride out. And they uh, hit a guy off his street legal scooter and he's in a coma. And then I think a week ago, another guy ran, it wasn't in Texas or anything like that, it was pretty close to here. He ran in a scooter and he got hit by a car and died three days after he was in the hospital. So stuff like this, like if there's a no chase law, even if we do the legal things and run, they shouldn't chase, you know? But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, so I almost forgot, the person recording this, I gotta give them credit. Yeah, guys, credit If you guys me. saw my old videos, the sneaker videos, I deleted all of them off the channel because I'm not a sneaker YouTuber, I am a moto vlogger. So I deleted all those, but she would always be in the videos, taking the videos for me and stuff. So most of the videos that you guys see in the third person point of view, my bike and stuff like that is recorded from her. And so, I also did build this desk back here and I put the lights on. So yeah. And she's it's capping. Hard labor she's capping. She helped with the desk, but <laughs> whatever. So we'll see you guys later. Adios. Make sure you guys subscribe. Look at my friend, bitch, you see me and they know who I get. Little TZ, oh my God, I'm a fan. Little TZ, oh my God, I'm a man. I remember I was with